Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week 16, unbelievable. Dude. Merry Christmas, by the way, everybody. We're we're almost done. Sucks. It's crazy. Yeah, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, oh, Hanukkah, yeah, happy Kwanzaa, holidays. whatever else there is. I don't, Merry Christmas. I don't know all of them. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. So well, anyway, it, it, it came, I was going to say, while you're celebrating your holidays, we're celebrating our five in one week that we just had, which yeah. is pretty good. I, I'm sorry I'm not in the suit. Um, you know, I wish I was, but I didn't go three and zero. But as you know, on this show, when you go three and zero, you dress three and zero. So look at my man Snacks over here. He looks three and zero. He looks good. He's got the hat. He's sporting the beanie, ready for the winter weather. It's officially winter. He's got the suit for his three and zero week. The guy's on fire. So clap it up for him. Really good to see him bounce back after yeah, such finally. an awful, terrible yeah, start. Yes, disgusting, um, grotesque scar. And listen, listen, just a heads up. I went three and zero back to back weeks. If uh, maybe last month, month and a half ago, followed up with an 0-3. So all these picks, fade them. Well, yeah, the last two weeks, I believe, as a show, we're 11 and... 11 and 1. Is that, uh, is that math? That, that's math that, that, uh, oh, as a show. Yeah, yeah, as a, a show, show 11, 11 and 1. 1. Yeah. Yes. So if you're betting all their picks, you're making money. You're a millionaire by now. Congratulations. Um, but I bet what you really want is this week's picks. So let's get to them. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, our records. I got I got oh, a rag. Yeah, I got a rag. Yeah, of course. Thir- 31 Absolutely. and 15, I believe. Terrific, yeah. I think that's what it is. I think I'm finally back at 500. No, I think you're over. I think you're... Am I? I think you're 23 and 20. No, no. No? If that math wouldn't add up. What are you, 31 and what? And, and 15. That's 46. Am I that? 23 no, and 20. That's 43. 23 and 23? Yeah. Maybe? I'm almost positive, yeah. It's good, though. We're hey, getting listen, there. Listen, I was six games... It's up there. Ice I was, got it. I was six games below two weeks ago, and here I am now. So don't f***ing fade me, because I'm going 3-0 and again. Ike's got it. Ike's I don't want to take this suit off. I haven't gotten it washed in three years. It's actually a true story. It'd be true. It's been here for a while. It's been here for a long time, yeah. All right, my first pick of the week. We're going right out. We're going with the Chargers at the Texans, and we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to take the... Over. Interesting. Over 45 and a half. I'm really, I'm, I haven't really been betting overs and unders this year. Well, never betting unders, but I haven't been betting overs this year. So uh, I just really like this over. I'm looking at what, uh, you know, the Chargers could could do this on their own, but the Texans, we just need two touchdowns from them. If we get two touchdowns from the Texans, this is almost a lock. I mean, it is a lock. I think I think you it get is. two Texans. Yeah. Uh, two Texans touchdowns. The For Giants sure. score two touchdowns in garbage time against the Chargers. So. That's even uh, garbage time. There's there's plenty of options here for this right. to be a backdoor right. uh, over cover here. So I like it over 45 and a half. I am a sharp. It's simple. Don't fade animal. Just too, it, It's literally just too simple of analysis. It's going over. It's going over by a lot. Great pick. I like that a lot. My first pick. I know you don't love this one. Um, I don't think you love two of them, but... Doesn't really matter. I, you really like the Minnesota Vikings. You think they're better than what they're giving credit for, right? Yep. I am kind of on the other side. Yep. I don't think they're that good. There was plenty of opportunities for the Bears to not only cover that game, but kind of win that game last week. And the Bears stink. They <laughs> stink. I have their first round pick, but they're terrible. And the Vikings, they are just so hit or miss. They are playing at home against a Rams team that they're pushing for the division title now. After beating the Cardinals a couple weeks ago, they're right there in the mix to take that NFC West, and they're only laying three and a half. I'm taking the Rams three and a half on the road. They get Jalen Ramsey back. They get they get Henderson back. They get guys back. Dalvin Cook is out for the Vikings, which we understand he's a phenomenal player. Madison's a good ball player too. But I think the Rams are... They're peaking right now, and we're going to take them at their hottest point. Sean McVay's got great hair. Matthew Stafford. Wait, did you say Cook is out? Delvin Cook's out. Why? Because he's got COVID. Oh, I didn't know that. And he's unvaccinated. Well, yeah. I don't like the Vikings anymore. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Why well, I like the Rams. That's why you watch the show, guys. You learn. You learn something new every day. But we like, we, we like the Rams minus three and a half on the road. They are playing for something more. Yes, the Vikings are playing for a playoff spot. They're holding on by... Their last legs, but I just I don't think they're that good. 
Um, you're gonna you possibly could take Jalen Ramsey and take Justin Jefferson out of the game, their best player with Dalvin Cook out. So I'm gonna take the better overall team, the better. Mike Zimmer's a good coach, but I, I would lean towards McVay, and I'll take the better quarterback. I'm taking the Rams minus three and a half. All right, yeah, I, uh, it's good to know. It's new. You find out new information. That's why you watch yeah, the show. Yeah, Cooks out. All right, my second pick. Going right into it. I'm not going to take uh, this one's going to be quick because it doesn't need a lot of analysis. We're going with the Jaguars at the Jets, and we're taking the Jets minus one and a half. Um, it's simple. They're at home, and this is what I'm looking at. Ready? This is all the analysis you get. The Jets beat. The Texans this year. The Texans beat the Jaguars this year. So, by that math, add the math, the Jets will beat the Jaguars. And this is minus one and a half. This is basically a pick them. So, that's why I like this bet. And that is all I have for the Jets because I do not want to talk about the Jets. There really is no analysis. I'm not happy about this, but I am a sharp and I have to go with where my sharp. Yeah. I know. You should not be questioned. I agree. Yeah, Jets um, minus one and a half. You're, you know, you're playing with fire. I'm, I'm confident. I'm you're, just, you're, I don't sound it, but I'm confident. You're playing with fire, picking the Jets. Some might say I'm playing with Jeff Fuel. Oh, see, look what we did. We set, we set each other up. Some, some might, not me. We set each other up beautifully. All right, we're going to Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City's red hot, piping hot. Uh, they're the hottest team in football now. They're the Colts, one or the other. I'd the f- Patriots, f- they're hot too, but Jeez. the Chiefs are right up there. Um, they're coming off a very emotional overtime win against the Chargers, their rival, away 10 days ago. They played Thursday Night Football, so they got some rest. I think they're due for a little bit of a letdown. I don't think they kill the Steelers, and I'm taking the Steelers plus 8.5. The Steelers have treated me well this year, and uh, they're another team that's right on the border of playoff contention. They have to win, so you know you're going to get your best effort. They have no COVID issues. They got no injury issues. They're looking full strength right now. They just beat they just beat the Titans, who yes, were banged up, and the Chiefs are playing out of their mind. But I think they can keep this close. Mike Tomlin, like I've said all year, Mike Tomlin is an underdog. I'm always going to take him. He's over 67 percent against the spread, and he's getting eight and a half points. Eight and a half points. That's a lot. I don't see the Steelers getting killed by two scores. So we are taking the Steelers plus eight and a half in a playoff push, a Big Ben resurgence, and a Chiefs letdown possibility spot right here. Steelers. Plus eight and a half. All right, sick. Yeah, let's. Uh, yo, Bugs Bunny. Let's. Uh, I got. I got a lot of food to eat tonight. Let's head over to the other studio for the underdog play of the day. Where I hear they got a, a pretty cool promo this week. I guess we'll find out. Thanks, fellas. Well, uh, before we give you our underdog play of the day, Christmas came a little early this year. Ho, ho, ho. The payout booster is live. It includes Josh Allen total yards prop in a pick five this week, and we are boosting your payout to 50x. Whoa! Uh, maximum entry, $10 to win 500 so you can't win $50 million. Sorry. Uh, all five picks must hit for the boost. Obviously, you know what you're doing, idiot. And uh, you can only be used it in one slip. So uh, good luck. Uh, happy holidays. And uh, the payout booster is live. And so is our, uh, we're going to give you our pick now. I'm going with, if you haven't noticed, it's my man, Drew Locke, a 200.5 passing yards. And we're taking the over. Always over. We always go over always on this over. show. We're not an under show. Uh, the first start, I want to see him go out there, show some heart. And, uh, you know. Throw the ball a lot. Yeah. That's it. No, it's good. Thanks, go. I actually really like it because I'm going to talk about that in a second. I am going Jamar Chase over 63 and a half yards receiving. He torched the Baltimore Ravens the last time they played. He's had a couple down weeks. He's due for a bounce back. 63 and a half? I feel like that's fucking pennies on the dollar. We're going over. Jamar Chase, 63 and a half. Lock it the fuck in. Do it now. Be appreciative of after. And if you do, you'll get 3x on your money. So you can win three times whatever you bet. That's it. Do the math. Do it. It does it for you, actually. It tells you what you win if you put it in. It's cool. Do it. Um, Do it. Back to you guys. Do it. All right. Yeah, that's fucking what I'm talking about. Yeah. Good stuff, boys. Lots of interesting stuff. That Josh Allen special is sweet. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, good for you guys if you hit that. Sick. Um, all right, I believe 
Uh, oh, did you hear that sound? I don't even want to do the first two anymore. Cause it's, it's like I'm talking to a fucking wall. Hey, did you hear that sound? You were talking to the wall, not me. Hey, I... bagel. Did you hear that sound? It's the wall. No, it's foreshadowing. Oh. Don't ruin it. Come on. People don't know what's going to happen. True. Now I'm at a disadvantage, though, because look what's over my ears. Oh, yeah. I can't hear anything. But what happens is when the sound comes. Oh, did you hear it come from over there? Come on. They're jingle bells this week, I swear. Did you hear it? Wait a minute. I'm picking up the echo. Oh, there it is again. I got it. 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 I have no fear. I have no fear. Hey, thanks. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if uh-huh. you heard the seven bells, uh-huh. uh, that means it's time for the big locks. Oh, dude, the big lock. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to hurt yourself or someone. Don't do it. Do it right in the front, though. Not my... F- yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it now. Don't, don't take it out. Leave it. You know you're gonna, you gotta leave it. Oh my god, it's so violent. That's what we're gonna do. We are gonna, we are gonna murder this pig. You show off your name. Oh yeah, check it out. It says my name on yeah. it. All right. After that insane display, uh, it's time for the big locks. Yeah, let's, uh, do let's do it. Show's getting crazy. You know what else is crazy? We got the bills. Heading into New England to play the Patriots this week. And I'm taking the Patriots. Minus one and a half. It's Great simple. Um, here's the analysis for you. Ike, I want you to put this on the screen. The bill is greater than. So the, the alligator hand thing, you know what I'm talking about? Is greater than. Yeah. yeah. The bills. So you're talking about Bill Belichick. Yeah. Yeah. So the bill is greater than. The Bills. So that's why I'm putting my money on the Bill. As in Bill Belichick. And the Patriots minus one and a half. Look, they beat him up. Mac Jones threw the ball three times and they beat him up. I know it was a windy game. I know there was weather. But that's just what Bill does. He's outsmarts it. And you know what else is going on? Josh Allen's got a little toe problem. He's got a little toe jam. Now it's a toe? He got toe jam. Wasn't it always the toe? Foot sprain. It's a foot sprain. It's a toe jam. Whatever you want to call it, it's a disadvantage. You know what Bill's going to do? He's going to find an advantage in that disadvantage. He's going to what? Yeah. He's, He's going to find an advantage in that disadvantage. The Bills have a disadvantage. Got it. And the and no, right. Bill is going to find that advantage in the no, disadvantage. Right. No, 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 I get it. I get it. Sometimes you just say things so stupidly. I, I have to think. Twice. I say but things again, that are. I say everything. Stupidly, I say things so that are okay. so uh, complex. It's hard for you right. to process. Right, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yes. And I'm a sharp. And it's simple. Bills are going to get smoked by the Bill minus one and a half. Love it's it. simple. I almost. It's great. Bill. Parlay those. All right. Give me the Drew Lock jersey. Yeah, I'm not going to wear it, but. Props. It was good to have a prop. Turn it around so everyone knows. This bet that I'm making right now is an absolute stone cold Steve Austin. Lock. It's a lock. If you couldn't figure it out, it's a lock. What we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Denver. Game's in Denver, right? No. It's in Vegas. Even better. No wind conditions. No funny business weather-wise. We're going over 41. Last week, I was telling you what was our rule. If it's under 40, you take the over. This is at 41. So, I think it's right there. It's on the borderline, and it's perfect. Drew Locke has a ceiling 20 times higher than Teddy Bridgewater. As you were saying, he could throw a a ball down the field 60 yards, and it could be a touchdown. He's not doing that dink and dunk shit. He's a gunslinger. He knows what he's doing. They're both playing for playoff spots. You think, oh, maybe that gets intense. It's division rival. The defense tenses up. No, not happening. They are going to both score. We need 41 points. This, the final score is going to be 24-21 one way or the other. That's how I see it. What do you think? That's, I mean, it could be, yeah. Uh, tw- or, or, you know, 23-20, 23-21. In that vicinity, the spread is only one. We are going over 41. 41. I'm not, well, wow, I was about to go at half. Don't need the extra half. It's only 41. It's on the card. It's on FanDuel. 
It's on DraftKings. It's on points bet. It's on. It's on your sister's and everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Over 41 and a half. Denver, Oakland, uh, Las Vegas. We're going over. That's the big lock. Let's go. Six and all my last six. 11 and one as bagels and lock show. Animal send us off. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. That's cool. That's the show. Please like. Please subscribe. Merry Christmas. Drop your picks in the comments. Um, also, uh, let's say I don't, I don't know. Bagels and locks. Bagels. Fucking locks. <laughs>